National champions from 29 different countries have gathered to battle it out for the 2022 World Singles Champion of Champions title. This year the event has been held here at the Nainai Bowling Club in Wellington, New Zealand. Nainai boasts three beautiful Maniatoto greens and one covered artificial, which means that play can happen here in rain, hail or shine. Nainai also plays host to world-class hospitality facilities, and this ensures that not only do players enjoy their bowling here, but are also well fed and watered whilst doing so. Hi, I'm Alex Reed, and here we are undercover at the Nainai Bowling Club, the hosts for the 2022 World Champion of Champions singles. Uh, this week we've got 40 six different athletes competing and each of them is a national singles champion. Uh, for some of them, like the Kiwis, uh, Taylor Bruce and Kelvin Scott, that means they've won an open singles championship, whereas others have had to win their club, regional and then progress to the national event to be here today. Uh, as I said before, the event goes for the week, the first five days of section play and then two days of post section and every game takes place over two sets of nine ends with a three and tie break if required. We have an incredible 29 countries from all over the globe with athletes playing their bowls everywhere from Botswana to Norfolk Island. The men will be playing in two sections, section A and section B, whereas the women participate in one section. And now we'll have a look at results for today. And here we are Steve now at the end of day Five, I think I worked out before five, I've, lost track, yes, of the, I've lost track of the days. Day five of this World Singles Champion of Champions event. So we've finished with section play and we're moving on to post section tomorrow. How do you feel today went? It was a bit tricky out there for them today. They, um, that wind came up in uh, that third game especially and uh, we were seeing some bowls, you know, starting off on a great trajectory, great line, great weight, and then just got bombed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, some of the other guys just looked up and they just, couldn't believe it. But the look at the heavens. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it just, it wasn't bad enough for them to come inside. Yeah. But it, you know, it wasn't the greatest either. But yeah. For me, the positive was that we've now proven that New Zealand does have sun. We do have sun down yes, here. Yes, we saw the sun. Uh, and may even, maybe even some people had to put sunscreen on and take jackets off, which is a first uh, uh, this week, I yeah, think. No, I saw hats out there, mind you, me myself, I have to wear a hat yeah. because yep. obvious uh, thinness in the thatch department. <laughs> Fair enough too. Oh, well, we've rambled on enough, so I think we'll move on now yeah. uh, to what people are waiting for, which is the results of today. So we'll start off with the men's section A. Section A. And there we have it. We've been following these for a while now. So uh, first up in the morning, up to round 13, which is a lucky number for some. We saw a couple of tiebreakers there, the Cyprus and Samoa game and Botswana and Ireland, which I think uh, we've got a, a little, a little a bit of a highlight from. There we go. The Irish... Gary McCloy playing with the lighter bowls in the Botswana. Yeah, a big day for him, you know, hanging through the day. He is for sure. I was impressed with his performance, uh, particularly given that he started off the week with two two losses on that first day, Steve. Yeah, yeah, you know, he, uh, it's sort of typical once they get the feel for the um, the quicker greens, good things happen, so yeah, it was all good. We certainly saw some uh, some classy bowls uh, from them. Anything else that sticks out to you from that first round? No, it pretty much went uh, form as we sort of brought in. That last day is a little bit like that, isn't it? As we sort of, the, the field spreads out a little bit. It does, and uh, yeah, you know, like half, some of the guys have got, and, and the ladies as well, you know, had a half an eye on what they were doing, plus what others were doing mm. and uh, where the standings were. So they got the calculators out to <laughs> work out who was <laughs> yeah. doing what. Absolutely, and uh, one of the games of this round 14 for me was between uh, the Scottish and the English uh, player, Tolchard and White, and always I'm sure they have good competition up where they are, they'd, they'd know each other well, uh, those two, oh, but it was a, a great game to watch between yep. them. So we see the, the Scotsman with the blue bowls, and what a beautiful trail that was, Steve. I got it pretty good, got it good. Happy days, and Tolchard there showing his class. I've been impressed, yep. uh, impressed with him this week. He's actually adapted very well, mm. um, as we'll see later on. I'd be interested, I haven't asked them, it'd be interesting to me uh, because the, the indoor that they play up in the Northern Hemisphere are on quite quick indoor greens. Yep. It'll be interesting how different this feels um, to that for them. I suppose the wind's the difference, isn't it? It, it is, and um, I was talking to him earlier on, and uh, you know, he likes the quick greens, especially when there's actual draw, you know, mm. good draw on it. So, um, yeah, no, he, he, had a, he had a good day. Yep, as we scroll down uh, to round 15, 
and the match of round 15 was really to decide who'd finish top of the section, wasn't it, Steve? Yep. Yeah, that, that was a big one. Uh, uh, Scott uh, from New Zealand, Scotty there, he uh, uh, stubbed his toe, so to speak, to, uh, <laughs> against Tolshard. And, but Tolshard played really, really well. Um, yeah, anything that Scotty did there, uh, Tolshard sort of replied as, with it. As we see there, and it's like a reverse of the old days. We see all the white bowls instead of all the black, all the black ones. And a great and bowl there. That was one of Kelvin's good ones there, bomb. Steve. That was a bomb. But certainly, uh, those two have looked pretty pretty hard to beat this uh, this week, this uh, five days that we've had yeah. of play. Yeah, between them and um, the Aussie, I, I think, yeah, that those three have been uh, particularly impressive. Absolutely. And they got all the shots. Yeah, and that's the thing. It'll be interesting to see in post-section. And now the players have had a few days on these greens as well. And sort of, I suppose it's a positive almost that we've had about 20 different seasons <laughs> uh, beca <laughs> because the players have had a chance to play inside. They've had a chance to play outside, outside. when it's raining, outside when it's sunny, outside when there's wind, wind. no wind. <laughs> there's no wind inside, yes. And so, so on and so forth as we move on. Uh, we'll just have a look at the standings, the final standings for Section A, remembering the top three get through uh, to play tomorrow. And there with Tolshard uh, winning that uh, section, uh, that puts him straight into the semis tomorrow. Yes, it does. Um, with the Scott McClure having to, not them particularly to have to play off, but uh, they've been randomised and uh, to see and we'll see that um, a bit later these boys on. play tomorrow. And a bit unlucky there I think for the Norfolk Island representative and the Samoan representative, even the Scottish and South African and Fijian we see there just one or two games away from being in that top three contention. Well it's, it's, it was down to sets one in the end, um, splitting you know third through to third through to sixth wasn't mm, it? Absolutely yeah. and I must say I reckon uh, if I was to pick I'm not going to call him a dark horse, but someone who's shown a lot of tenacity, um, the Irishman, uh, McCloy, yep. had two losses and tie breaks on the first day and has shown a lot of fight uh, to not have another loss. And I'm not sure if he will have another loss before the end of the tournament, Steve. Oh, OK. Uh, someone's <laughs> having a sneaky bet. Yeah, we'll we just go for that. OK. <laughs> As we move on to men's section B now, we have a look at that, uh, that first round. No real tie breaks. We saw uh, some great set wins uh, to the... Davis from Jersey, I think we've got some footage from that. He scored 32 points in 18 ends, which is not a not a bad effort. <laughs> we can see how he's done that here, just stacking the bowls around yep. the jack. Yeah, he had a good game. <laughs> An understatement there, I think. Uh. <laughs> I've been impressed with him as well, as we see why I could bowl there from oh, the new iron. That's how he had to score his points, <laughs> by the looks. Oh, a big super swoop down there. <laughs> We can see there that I mean we did have tight heads today as well as a couple of uh, scattered bowls, so it was that oh. your classic Wellington weather. Yeah, no, there was a classic game in the ladies section, which we'll talk about uh, later on. I thought it was outstanding. And we see there um, the only other sort of game of interest, uh, I suppose, in Canada and Cook Islands. The Cook Islander got through on a tiebreak after losing the first set 13 3, so yep. been impressed with how he's played. And this the Aussie week as well. juggernaut just kept uh, chugging as well. Yeah, as he does, as we scroll down now to round 14. And a big game in round 14, again, to decide sort of who sits at the top of this section, yeah. Schreiner and James. That's right, that was, uh, that was to see who was going to win the section. And uh, yeah, as, as we see, the Aussie uh, yeah, made no race of it, really. Yeah, he played uh, exceptional bowls in that game between Australia and was the last one, 15 and one, so. Yeah, yep, certainly showing his class. We see here, Schreiner, the defending champion. Remember, we've hacked on about it a little bit, but he's, I think he's been to this event. This is his third visit. And yep. he may have, I think, run, uh, got third equal and won it. Okay. So he's come here with some, uh, some good form. He's got the credentials. So, yeah, no, he's, uh, he's playing well. And quite unusual bowls, aren't they? They're sort I've of never supported. seen them before. Yeah. yeah, they're cut into four segments. Yeah. I thought I was unusual with seven colours on a bowl, but uh, <laughs> and they look like, in the dust. Because they're not even, they look like they're wobbling when they're coming up, but mm. they're smooth as. So. Look at that. It's not bad and windy old day, is it? Yeah, some great, absolutely great stuff um, from uh, that. And I think uh, Hungary, Pavelka from Hungary, got maybe his third or fourth, his fourth win at this event. He's had a great tournament. Yeah, yeah an interesting man. He had a lot of sign language. <laughs> <laughs> English isn't his first language. Yeah, but no, it's no, great. I think uh, he's been to a number of these events before and just good to see him and just uh, yeah. go on the improve. Yeah, no, he's enjoying himself. As we scroll down now to round 15, 
the final round, and that's uh, it's gone well for us there. Yeah, that's <laughs> outstanding. Yeah, we're not still waiting it, but uh, I do remember this particular round as we were trying to uh, wrap up and uh, you know prepare for tomorrow and that. But the uh, American slash Canada game, yes, three three plus hours yep. for essentially twenty one ends. Yeah, which is why we saw. A blank screen uh, on that bit so yeah, it didn't make a huge difference to the standings as we see here so we got down to that 15th round and it was pretty much set who was going to finish where wasn't it Steve? Yeah yeah it was short by of which a, I mean we knew who was going to finish in the top three. Yeah yeah it didn't change anything and it couldn't change just the way it worked out. And we so. see there uh, with these standings probably the unlucky one to miss out for me uh, both a, a Jersey and Cook Islander um, I mean we saw Davis from Jersey score like a million points in the first uh, the first game. He's played some classy bowls, and the Cook Islanders played well too. They only lost three games each. Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, they went good, and uh, they can be pretty happy when they go home and reflect um, just how it went for them in nine nine. Yeah, there's not much uh, not much more they could have done, um, as we see the rest of the standings as we scroll through. And good to see everyone had more than one win, really, barring the uh, the default running through. So some. <laughs> Some competition, yeah, and the default you're not yeah. winning a game. No, no, don't expect them to Funny win too that. many. <laughs> <laughs> As we move on now to see the broadcast schedule for the men, Steve, yep. which this is the exciting bit. That's so right. uh, this is the post-section brackets here, isn't it? Do you That's want us right. to, to talk us through that? Well, with the uh, section winners of section A and section B, um, England and uh, Australia, they automatically into the semis. Mm. Uh, so that guarantees them a medal. And um, just the way it worked out, the, um, the Welsh and the Irish, a um, bit of a home derby sort of thing there. <laughs> Your home the games, nations having a bit having of a, a battle. Game, so it looks like it's going to be up to a point north, northern hemisphere versus southern hemisphere uh, final regardless. Um, so it's some actually really good games there and the broadcast game will be... Um, on one of the rinks. Uh, we haven't got the rink numbers there, I'm not too sure. No, it'll be on YouTube is where yeah, it'll be. <laughs> but it'll be a 11 a.m. start for the men. Yes. Uh, we're going to stagger it through the day. So, um, so we're almost going to be wall to wall. Uh, Just bowls, bowls all the way all day through. through. Yeah. Ladies start at 10, men come in at 11. So then when the ladies finish, the men will become the main screen. And then when that finishes, yeah. the... So um, we'll just to quickly explain that to the viewers. So what we're able to do, because we've got so many cameras, is we have like a picture-in-picture -picture scenario, Steve, where we've yeah. got a main, a main game in the foreground. And at the top right or left of your screen, we've got uh, a game that sits in the thumbnail. And when the first game finishes, the second game comes into the foreground, so on yep. and so forth. If you've watched any of our inter-club and inter-centre north-south streaming, it's very similar to that. And it should yep. provide a really good... Uh, a really good way to watch the bowls. Yeah, and uh, we're going to be doing the same with the semi-finals and that as well. So, mm. whilst the and it'll be a, a mixture of genders, uh, there's always there'll always be a men and a ladies game on. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, water wall bowls, people. And a good segue there as we move into the women's <laughs> results for today, Steve, and find out who's finished in the top six there. Women's section that first round, round thirteen. And sort of uh, the big game there was New Zealand versus USA, Anu Nez versus yeah. Taylor Bruce. Yeah, and um, is this the highlights for that one? Yes, it is, yeah. Yeah. No, Anne uh, Nunes, the US, she had a bomb of a game. Oh, I've been super duper impressed with her for this yeah. entire five days, to be fair. Oh, you just like the shirt that she wears with the big eagle. Well, it's a great shirt. <laughs> As I said it's yesterday. It's an outstanding shirt for our country. The, yeah, the best shirt I've seen. But look at this grouping here from Anne Nunez. Uh, yeah. And she's been like that all week, really. She started off like that, and she's been like that when she's played indoor and yep. outdoor. It's uh, certainly, yep. she's put put it out there, and perhaps she'll be the uh, the first person from USA to take she, out the World chance. Singles Champion of Champions title. She's a chance. What else? There was no, no tiebreakers there and that sort of round 13, everything went the way. It's good to see Branfield finishing strong from England after yep. a disappointing first few days. Yeah, no, she, she finished really well. Certainly if she gets another opportunity to come down to, to the Southern Hemisphere, she'll be more prepared for what it's like down here and certainly yep. give a, a good showing yep. of herself as we move now to round 14. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, or three tiebreakers here in round 14 and one of the games uh, that went to a tie break was a Cook Island uh, versus Botswana, going the Botswanians' way uh, 3 1 in that tie break. Yep. And we got some, oh, this is one of my favourite bowls, that was from the Cook Islander there. Yep. Not only got rid of the shot bowl, but feathered the jack back for one. Yes, outstanding. 
some good stuff. You know, you're dipping into the lucky bag big time when you, <laughs> that all happens for you, aren't you? Happy days, but some great bowls there. Yeah. Uh, from both those players, I think uh, we'll see more. And then the wind was getting up into that round as, as well, so uh, some good bowls there. And uh, Taylor Bruce sort of snuck her way through, so that kept her into, um, in contention. Absolutely. Um, so that was a really good result for her. Batley and we see um, uh, Anu Nez losing 13-1 in the first set and winning 14-5 in the second, so yep. roaring back into that game and taking the tie break out. Yeah, no, she just sort of struggled on that end rink. Um, yeah, she's just firing the round a bit, but then hit her straps uh, when she uh, came to grips gear. with the line. As, so as we move on now to off. round 15, the final round of the women in section play. Uh, the big upset there is um, uh, the Aussie. Um, Getting beaten. Wales uh, versus Wales, Australia. Wales versus Australia, and Wales played. She played. Thomas played really, really well. And they saw bits of that. Yeah, we get to see a few more bits. You see here the Aussie, uh, Christina, playing with the white bowls, and the Welsh with the orange, and some good aggressive play as well. We yeah. saw. She wasn't frightened to um, pull out the big shot. Yeah, great um, stuff there. Playing with weight. And look at this Listen one here on her backhand. Oh. Oh, happy days. <laughs> it's been some okay bowls this week, hasn't it, Steve? Uh, been some very good bowls. And there's a great drive, too. Uh, great stuff there. As we watch, this was one of the bowls of the match for me. You know, you're two down after a good drive from the Australian and just to get down. And she had to wait. I think there was a spectator in her eye line. And she oh, sort of okay. had Didn't to see compose that. herself and got yep. down and played the bowl. Showed a lot of composure there. And we'll move on now, Steve, to the thing everyone's been waiting for, which is the broadcast Ooh. schedule for the woman. Who plays who? I thought we'd get the standings first. Well, we can go standings first, first. then. You know, I was just, do you want to do standings? Yeah, we can do standings. No, we'll do standings. I was just getting a bit excitable as oh, well. Oh, obviously. Sorry. Yeah. So, <laughs> you go, you take it away from me. You're <laughs> more under control than me. <laughs> Not really. Australia, USA finishing top. So that puts them into straight into um, semi-finals. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, as it works out, three to six, um, then play in the quarters. Um, and we will see when we segue to that, um, you know, who plays who in the zoo. <laughs> um, so, but we'll have New Zealand, Malaysia, um, who's that, Wales and Botswana, uh, Botswana um, in that quarterfinals. Yeah, certainly. And if, if we look at that, I think the women's uh, section sort of split a little bit more than the, the men's ones. That we've seen, there was uh, we had the South Africa on six wins, then a couple on fives and fours and threes. So yeah, they're, they're a bit mixed up down there. You know, like the, the, everyone had a chance of beating everyone else. So um, yeah, everyone had a good good tournament really. Yeah, you know, like you you got to be happy going away with uh, you know in a classy field for you know uh, three wins, four wins. Absolutely. It's not bad. And now, Steve, do you want to lead us into the broadcast schedule? Seeing I've no. already, I've already no, done no, it. You've started. Okay. That's well, let's uh, let's look, go to the don't, broadcast don't put schedule. The pressure on me. <laughs> Any second. Here we go. So I've, uh, I feel like I've got some serious deja vu here. <laughs> uh, do you want to talk us through the timings of this broadcast schedule, please, Steve? Okay. This one, uh, it's a ten o'clock start as opposed to eleven for the men. So um, we've got the Malaysian playing uh, Wales um, at. Uh, 10 o'clock about the TV game for the local viewers. We'll be uh, very excited to see New Taylor Zealand Bruce. Botswana. New Zealand versus Botswana. And the young lady from Botswana has done really, really well. Oh, um, she's adjusted brilliantly to these greens. Yeah, yeah, no, and it's a lovely person too. Mm -hmm. And um, she's good to talk to. And man, yeah, you know, like she's thrilled to be uh, you know, in the main event. And, you know, she's going to have a Moment in the sun with uh, on TV. Well, hopefully, hopefully in the sun. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's looking a bit dull. Sure it will be. I'll ask you that a bit later. Okay. And we see there the other broadcast game will be the winner of um, uh, Wales and Malaysia playing yep. Australia. Uh, whenever that is, that that starts. Uh, that's one o'clock. The uh, semis for the ladies. Um, cool. So yeah, as I said, it staggers. Ten o'clock, eleven o'clock. One o'clock. Yeah, so there's essentially, and it's all in New Zealand time. Yes. And I've put it somewhere. If you look on the Bowls New Zealand website and Facebook page, I'll put the broadcast schedule up, and it's GMT plus something if you're wondering what New Zealand time means. Oh, okay. But I've actually forgotten what it's plus. Okay. Uh, so you just have to oh, go. Oh, for the, the UK the, ones, it's about 12 hours. About 12 it? hours, yeah. Um, oh, so I think that essentially concludes our chat. Uh, Steve, so I'd just like just to say to the viewers, yeah, if you are looking for the, the broadcasts tomorrow and on Friday, you can find it on the YouTube channel, which is where you're watching this, 
on our website and on our Facebook page. Uh, they'll all be there, and yep. it'll be two pretty good days of bowls. Oh, it will be. Uh, the only decisions that really will be made for tomorrow is whether it's inside or out, yes. and um, that decision won't be made till sort of early morning. Um, we have to get up and come down, have a look, make sure that. Do you want to take a stab at your weather predictions, Steve? Oh, I got it wrong yesterday, didn't I? I can't remember. I said it was, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm picking might be inside, actually. Okay. I, I just would hate the wind well, to be a major factor in determining who wins this or not. I'm an optimist, and I think it's going to be perfect weather tomorrow, oh, yeah. so I think it'll be outside, and uh, we'll see who was right. <laughs> <laughs> and with that in mind, uh, just to uh, say to the viewers, thanks for sticking with us for the four or five days, uh, and sit back, relax, and enjoy as you watch the last highlights reel from section play at the World Singles Champion of Champions event. And it's good night for me and good night from him.